Okay, is cold emailing dead? The answer is no. And in this short video, I'm gonna show you how to set up the best cold email strategy possible. Today, we're gonna use Google Domains and Google Admin Suites or Google Workspace to set up your emails and make sure that all of your records are set up correctly, all the forwarding set up, and then show you how to implement that. Now, if you're not doing cold email or cold email outreach, you can still use this strategy when setting it up for your business because we've tested every platform out there. I've tested over 30 platforms and this does get the best deliverability. So we use a tool called Glock Apps and with Glock Apps, we're getting about a 98 to 99% deliverability rate. And the reason why we know that's the best is because what Glock Apps basically does is it'll go ahead and send emails to all the different platforms, Outlook, Google, AOL, Yahoo, and all those other platforms and it'll make sure that it's actually being received and not going to spam. So that's how we know that this is the best method out there currently. Okay, so without further ado, we're gonna jump into the long form video. So if you guys are interested in learning more, check out my YouTube and looking forward to kind of walking you through it. All right, so first step is you'll see a spreadsheet here. This is basically walking us step by step through what we need to do to get your Gmail set up properly. And again, this doesn't work just for cold email and cold outreach. This is the best strategy to make sure that all of your records are set up properly for general outreach. Okay, so in our spreadsheet, what we have here is the different steps. So you'll see a drop down here to select uh, what's best for you guys. So the first thing we're gonna do, campaign, we can leave blank. That's what we're sending from or who we're sending to. Domain purchase, so this is where we're purchasing the domain and where we're purchasing the email. Um, so first, both of these are gonna be Google, and then Google Admin. So the reason why I put this here is because I've experimented with a whole bunch of different ones, so you guys don't have to. So the next thing we need to do is we need to actually buy our Google domain. So what I recommend doing is if you're not doing this for your core business, so if you're not using, if you're not using it for daily emails, to use either a subdomain or a secondary domain. So what we prefer to do is use a secondary domain. The reason why is it actually protects our domain reputation. So if for some reason you send out a cold email and someone doesn't like it, they report it as spam, that won't affect your main domain and won't affect your day-to-day -day business operations. So if you have a service email going out, it'll still deliver. So I actually used ChatGPT, I gave it some prompts and came up with a whole list. I have thousands of domains here, but we're just gonna go try to set up this first one. So the next step is I personally do everything in incognito. So let's go to Google Domains. So this is one of my Google domains. So I'm in Google domains. You'll see that I have set up some domains in the past. I'm gonna go to add a new domain. Then there's a domain. It's gonna search to see if it's available. You already own this. So I'm gonna go ahead and cross that out. And then I'm just gonna go to my next one. Okay, so we had to try a couple different domains because even when we use ChatGBT, uh, it won't always give us ones that are available because it's not searching for what's available. So we found an exact match, just add to cart. And then we'll go ahead and check out. So I recommend never um, using this Google Workspace preset just because it causes a whole bunch of licensing issues. You want to set up your Google Workspace separately. So you'll just go to your Google Google Workspace setup and create it that way versus having it auto generate because the accounts are linked weird and, it, and I don't like the way that works. Um, so continue checking out. So we'll go ahead and buy this domain. I leave mine on auto renew and of course set my privacy so that it's protected. So that's step one. The nice thing about this spreadsheet that you'll see here is we're actually gonna step through each step of the process. So that way it's very repeatable. So we'll come here, we'll go to domain. So with Google, you don't have to worry about the SSL, it's pre-set up for you. So then once you've created this, it's not going to pre-set up a DMARC report for you. So you can go to the DMARC report tool and there's actually a free tool. So we wanna do DMARC monitoring. All right, so we're gonna pull up our DMARC report tool. Um, you can see the domains right here. This has a free version and a paid version, uh, depending on what you want. So we're just gonna add a new domain. And DMARC's basically just a record that helps verify that you own this email address and that it's authenticated. So we're gonna just use this tool. It's gonna to pre-generate all the records for us and then show us exactly how to set it up. So records can be a little complicated and scary, but don't worry, we're gonna cover all of this. I'm not gonna explain in detail what each thing is. I'm just gonna show you how to use it. 
So we're gonna grab this and it tells you how to set it up as a TXT record. So we're gonna go ahead and go back to our platform. All right, so here is our platform for the new domain we just ordered. We're gonna go to the DNS record. We're going to set up a TXT record. So this is our host name as it gave us instructions there. And then this is gonna be our actual record. Perfect. Uh, then we're gonna jump in and go to our next step. So we'll just check this off. So the next step is a tracking domain. This is if you're going to use warming or a cold sending email address. Um, we personally recommend instantly. Uh, you'll find an affiliate link below, but I will show you how to set this up for instantly. It's recommended that you do use a tracking domain for any of your emails if you're going to kind of do this properly. So you'll come back in here and you hit manage, create new record. Now each platform has their own instructions on how to set this up. This is specifically Instantly's tracking domain setup. So we will oh, jump through, we'll close out of this. And that's it, okay? And then we're gonna take this record and we'll put that there. This one's gonna be a C name and the lowest time possible and we grab this and you'll see all those notes are up there and you can download this for free. So we'll come back, put that in there and then that's your tracking domain. So really easy. So far we're just copying and pasting, finish that done. Now we wanna do domain forwarding. So when you do cold email, if someone emails you a lot of things that marketers will do is they'll go track that domain back to see if it's authentic. So by having this link back directly to your website it makes it look more authentic. So we're gonna send this back to our home website. It'll load in a second and it'll show the website. And then when you test it, you can literally type this in and it'll go to whatever website you gave it. There you go. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna note where I'm sending it. DKIM SPF MX records are all auto-generated by Gmail when you link it to Google Workspace. So Google Workspace works the same way like I said, I recommend creating your Google Workspace admin um, separately from Google Domains. So you'll have to buy a domain first, create your Google Workspace admin, and it'll create your first user there. So this is a clean Google Workspace for you guys. What we're gonna do is come in here. You'll see at this section, domains. So I'm going to add a domain. So this is how we link our domain to our Google Workspace so we can send emails and authenticate that they're real. So I just need that domain again, I'm gonna put it in here. And because we did it with Google Workspace, you're able to link your Google Workspace together. Okay, so we're relinking this domain. So it was already linked. Now this is how we auto set up these records. So you're gonna see once you link the record to your Google admin, it's gonna say verify domain. So it'll ask you to sign into Google domains because I'm already logged in. It should be pretty simple and automated. Okay, so I verified it. Now I'm gonna activate Gmail. So I will click activate Gmail. It's gonna ask me if I wanna set up my MX records. This will set up more than just your MX records. It'll set up all those complicated records for you. Makes you sign in a thousand times to different things. So here are the records it's setting up for you. These are preset by Google. They are the recommended records. They are the same across the board um, and they'll work very well for you. So that you just do yes, all right, so that's all of the heavy lifting. So now we can mark off this, this, and this, and I'll show you in Google Domains just so you can see it. There they are. It'll show you Google Workspace and it should be all working. So then what we wanna do is set up an email. So we'll go ahead and come back into our Google Admin where we linked everything. We'll go to Users. We'll create Add a User. All right, so I'm gonna put in the password and I'm gonna add user. So you should be all done there. You'll put your user email here. Scott, at, and then just your domain. Okay, I added a profile image. So now we're actually just gonna set up our email to make sure it's working properly and that we're logged in. I will log into a new one. All right, so we're just, Confirming the details and we're in. So now you have a working active Gmail. Now all you wanna do is go to your settings, make sure that you forward it. 
So we're gonna forward this to our main domain so we have one master inbox. That way it's a little bit easier to manage and control everything. So we'll just go, hello. So now it's gonna ask for verification code. While I'm getting that code, I wanna turn on IMAP and pop. These are just settings to use third-party sending tools like Instantly. So it will send to that email that you sent it to a code. You're gonna click verify. Then you wanna make sure to hit the forward. I leave these settings like that. And then you should be good to go, save. So we have email forwarding, yes. That's gonna be your password. And the rest of it, you're good to go. Um, so the next step here is you could log in to your email sending platform. So the next thing you can do is log into your email sending platform and set up email warming. So email warming, logging in, all those settings we'll do in another video. So if you guys are interested, comment any questions you have and I can do a follow-up video. Um, again, we do recommend instantly. I can send an affiliate link. I get a small amount of money for that. It goes to help support the channel. I appreciate it. Use it. If not, no worries. Um, but this is going to be your best way. And then you can use third-party tools like Glock apps to then test this to make sure it's delivering. Um, one thing to know about Warming is it can take anywhere from two weeks um, to three months to get this email to send at that 95 delivery rate, 98 delivery rate. What you'll see is when you first start off, you're going to be closer to a 60%. And that's just because the email has to warm up. It has to age. And a lot of it is literally just the age of when you bought that domain. All right. So I appreciate it, guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment. And please make sure to subscribe uh, and reach out. Thank you.